Green. Welcome to Bike Skills Interbike Coverage 2009. We're here at the Pips booth talking about some new helmet technology that's coming out. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what Pips is all about? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, Coffee doesn't need We are a medtech company coming out of uh, Scandinavia. Conducting R&D for the last uh, 15 years around how to protect your brain in a better way. Uh, we have founders that are new resurgence and standing every day operating on people coming into the hospitals, having a helmet on their head, pulling off motorcycles or bikes or emails, even though they have pretty severe brain damage. And uh, the reason for that is that they are uh, being exposed to rotational violence. As we all know, today's helmets are, are tested and produced and certified in order to take straight radial impact, which is good. Uh, but it's, it's less likely actually in any uh, sports activity that you actually fall with a 90 degree angle into the ground. Um, because most of the times you come with speed and you hit the ground at an angle, and that angle gives rise to, to rotational acceleration and rotational forces to your brain. And today's uh, helmet technology that does not provide any, uh, any uh, protection against that. So what we've been doing is actually looking and studying the, the, uh, the body's or the brain's own protective systems. The, the, the brain itself is floating in the, uh, the brain liquid or the cerebrospinal fluid. And at the end of the impact to the, to the head, the brain can actually twist a little bit. And in that twisting, it brings down the energy forces going into the brain, which is good. So we actually copy that into a helmet and say that into a helmet technology. We also said, I'll show you a bit about that. So, we are mimicking the, uh, the brain liquid or the cerebrospinal fluid uh, by bringing a part of the outer shell from the liner. On top of the liner, we put this um, low friction layer. It's a piece of polycarbonate plastic with a Teflon coated to get a low friction. And then we bring it back together again into the helmet. But we don't, uh, we don't glue it, but we, we fixate it with a sort of a fixation and release mechanism, which can look a bit different from helmet to helmet. This is at an oblique impact anywhere on the helmet, it will freeze. And it will allow the outer shell to slide over to the liner, like this. And by that, we can substantially uh, reduce the rotation and rotation of the So what you made here is a uh, safer helmet, mostly. Indeed, absolutely. I mean, if you reduce the forces with, to the brain, for, for instance, this helmet, we, we measured it up to 50% reduction on the rotational forces. Uh, and we get that is a substantial improvement that which most likely will take you from severe oh, severe brain damage down Mark to something in, uh, less severe definitely. Uh, and uh, for this we have developed different kinds of com computer models. Uh, we have mostly one of the more sophisticated sorry, computer yeah, models of the yeah, human yeah, brain, there, 3D, yeah, 3D yeah, element yeah, computer model where we can uh, simulate all kinds of impacts and all kinds of elements and awesome. predict the outcome of, of that specific uh, impact. Yeah. And where we can prove and show that Implementing our technology, we do, we do the before and after implementing and show the result and the, the, uh, the picture within the brain uh, and the reduction of the forces. Excellent. So where are you going with this technology? Going into the sports, equestrian, mountain biking? I mean, the, the, the vision is definitely to, to be a non-negotiable ingredient in all helmets going forward. I mean, it's a, an airbag of the helmet industry. It's something that's what we want to come. So we go across all helmet categories. We started out focusing on, on uh, skiing, biking, equestrian, and the motorcycle yeah. helmets uh, initially. Uh, uh, and we have signed deals in all those four markets. Uh, and the first bicycle helmet coming to market right now is this downhill uh, helmet from Paul. There's an American brand bringing an equestrian helmet to the market as we speak. And, uh, followed by, by uh, ski and, and uh, motorcycle helmets early next year. Awesome, that sounds pretty exciting. On more of a lighter note, you're here in Vegas. America, have you seen any evidence of brain damage around locals or tourists here <laughs> walking around? Oh yeah, we got to judge you from the city as, as in itself, uh, there, there is a uh, uh, risk for that. Definitely. It's a wild city, uh, the indoor being here doesn't It's a different world. Great, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.